Jake Ludington here at HPE Discover, and I'm here with Hashim Bose. And Hadoop gets incorporated into a lot of workloads these days, but what are you guys specifically seeing as some great value that you can get from Hadoop? Yeah, that's a great question. The, uh, the predominant of workloads we're seeing are more to do with optimization of uh, workloads. So clients are running into performance, cost of ownership, upgrade migration costs with their legacy EDWs, and um, that's causing them to look at alternative technologies to bring uh, the performance up or the cost down or both. And um, not to mention that the um, massively parallel processing prowess that the Hadoop ecosystem provides also allows for um, uh, processing of both structured and unstructured data, which is not uh, possible in some of the historical EDW type systems. So, so a lot of the workloads we're seeing are around performance and cost. You know, clients are under a lot of pressure nowadays to um, uh, accommodate new data sources, structured, unstructured, streaming, and um, the EDWs are creaking under the weight of all of that. And uh, business users are unhappy about the rate at which they are able to get the analytics out of the data or to even get the data itself. So, um, so there is a whole on-demand nature of things as well that um, the Hadoop ecosystem is driving where uh, shadow IT organizations within the business are downloading their own uh, free copies of Hadoop and starting to do some of the analytics on their own, which is obviously a problem long term as it leads to um, governance, security, and other issues. So what is HPE doing to kind of help facilitate this uh, transition to bring, bring the groups that are doing some of the shadow IT things and, and kind of bringing it legitimately into the organization? Yeah, so within HPE, we obviously have a lot of um, uh, offerings uh, all the way through the um, spectrum from advisory to architecture to transformation to consulting, managed services. And um, more often than not, we find ourselves in the early phases of a project, uh, helping our clients get clarity on what their business objectives are, uh, what's the um, desired business outcome in terms of enabling new use cases, reducing cost of ownership, or reducing migration costs, upgrade costs, improving performance. And, um, and then once we have clarity on those objectives, we then usually sit down with a cross-section of business and IT to get alignment. A lot of the value we bring to the clients in these situations is to enable the conversation among themselves so that um, um, the walls can be broken down. And then provide some clarity on um, which workloads, which use cases we think have the highest business value, what is it going to take to implement them, uh, cost of ownership, ongoing run costs, uh, infrastructure costs, and, um, and then obviously execute the transformation. And in a lot of cases, we manage the environments once we're done. So it's kind of an end-to-end -end life cycle of figuring out what the problem is, helping them implement a solution, and then managing that solution going forward? Exactly. And we, do, we can do that both on-prem and in the cloud. Um, we have our own version of virtual private cloud called Helion, and um, we have a specialized big data infrastructure setup that's um, uh, optimized to run the Hadoop stack, if you will. And um, in addition to that, we also partner with um, the major cloud providers such as AWS and Azure, if the clients are have a preference in that direction. So is there anything else that you would want to know about people extracting value from Hadoop? Absolutely. Uh, we keep hearing about these infinity projects where customers have been quote unquote playing around with Hadoop for six months, a year, two years, you know, five nodes, ten nodes. And uh, it'd be great to get clarity as to how many of these projects are being successfully executed in production, um, what percent that is. Because the data in the marketplace is quite varied all the way from 70% to um, 60%. So um, it'd be really interesting to know 
now that some of the hoopla around the Hadoop um, ecosystem has started to die down, what are the practical experiences that clients are um, experiencing in the sense of uh, executing their initial stage kick the tire type projects into business value projects. So really it goes from being just kind of a science experiment to what are the practical business cases that people are actually deploying and, and then seeing business value back out of that. Exactly, yeah. All right, well thanks Ashim. Thank you.